Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I melt my lace down using the ghost bun um glue. The last time I did uh you know a meltdown with like a glue it was the um the bolt hold active so i decided to show you guys you know how to use the ghost bond glue just to see just to kind of show you guys like you know how it works and plus it's also like a cheaper version of the bolt hold and honestly the bolt hold is it's more on like I said it's more on the expensive side and it also goes out of stock like quickly so this is just like an alternative that you guys can use if you don't have you know one the money for the bolt hold or if it keeps on going out of stock so starting out I do the same ball cap method that I've used in my previous videos you know with the got to be glue spray um and the gel so i literally just you know did the same method that i did in the video with the bolt hold everything will be the exact same way uh the only difference is that i'm using you know a different glue but the method of um, me the way in which i did it in the last video is the same thing that i'll be doing now So right here, I'm literally just, um, I'm just going to go in with like a very thin layer of the ghost bond glue and I'm literally just putting like a very thin layer on the cap just to kind of get it to be flat because you know, like if you can, if you can realize after I've used the, uh, the got to be glue, the, it's still like it wasn't as flat. So I went in with the glue. The bolt, the ghost bond, oh my gosh, where's my thoughts? Yeah, so I went in with the ghost bond glue just to use a very thin layer so it can be, you know, flat and I don't have like that little rolled um, edge. So when I'm doing my install, it's pretty much flat and all ready to go. After applying that thin layer of glue, I waited until it's dried clear, just like the bolt hold. And now that it is dried clear, I'm just going in with alcohol and I'm just cleaning off my edge to actually go ahead and start, you know, applying like the real layers of glue. So this, I didn't count this as a layer. Um, it's just to get the cap itself flat. So I'm just gonna go in with the layers and I'm gonna go in with three layers just as the bolt holes because I wanted to do the exact same thing like I did in my bolt holes video so you guys can you know kind of see that it's the same process that I did and the results are pretty much it pretty much came out the same way uh, and the method in like the way in which I'm putting on the glue the glue is pretty much on the cap if you could see like I did probably like an inch of glue and I placed it mostly on the cap and a little bit in front of the cap because I want it to be stick um I want it to be mostly on the cap so when I'm putting on my my wig it's easier for me to put the wig over the glue because you want to make sure the wig is always in front of the glue and not behind and that way you don't see like you know the white patches um, that you that you know we don't like so I'm going in and I'm gonna go in with three layers so that was the first layer now this is the second and then after this I'm gonna allow it to dry clear then I'm gonna go in with the third layer Also, um, if you don't want to wait until it's like fully dried on its own, you could always speed up the process by using the blow dryer. I was going out and I couldn't wait until it was dried on its own, so I used the blow dryer just so the process could like, you know, 
go by faster uh, so now this is the third layer and after this layer is dried clear I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my wig So now for the placing of the wig. So how I placed the wig, I placed it in front of the glue. Not directly on the glue or behind the glue because if you place it behind the glue, you're going to have that white residue remaining and then when you start wiping it off, it's like it's a whole mess. So and that's one of the issues that I had with this with the ghost bond especially the first time I tried using it I realized that like you know when it when it leaves like residue and you're supposed to wipe it off it's the worst thing ever and it gets really messy and then your install looks like shit literally so make sure you put it in front of the glue not not on it or not behind it and if you have any parts of the lace that's not glued down you could always go in and add glue with like you know the rat tail comb or like a little piece of or the same thing that you use to like you know lay the glue down you're gonna see me doing it also if there's like excess lace that you really don't need sorry you could always cut it off so if you want to keep it you can always glue it down if you really don't need it you could just cut it off but just make sure it is in front of the glue or else it's just going to be a whole lot of mess for you guys like the thine method oh I said thine the thine method uh, for like you know allowing the glue to melt on your hair make sure you're using a silk wrap or a silk tying head tie yeah a silk head tie uh, just because the cotton it takes up the moisture out of your hair the silk is better for it and when you use the silk tie to tie it down like it comes off very flawless literally so make sure when you're tying down your hair please please even get a piece of silky head scarf somewhere or take it off cut it off or something but please to make sure it's all it's silky okay so now as you can see this is how it looks I started my eyebrows because like I said I'm going out so this was kind of you know in the middle of me going out I decided to just show you guys how I use the bolt uh, the ghost bond now I'm just gonna use my baby hair I'm just gonna do my baby hair I started the baby I used both uh, both the mousse and the got to be gel on the baby hair the mousse I used because you know it softens the hair and the baby hairs won't be that thick or like stiff I should say or hard yeah and I went in with the gel just to kind of get it to smooth out um, better and also I, the gel kind of dries quicker than most so I wanted it to because I was like I said I was going out so I was in a rush so I wanted to use the gel because the gel would have dried it quickly and I wouldn't have to wait as opposed to the mousse you know you kind of have to allow it to set and then comb with the baby ears and all of that the gel kind of speed up the process so that's why I use the gel but yeah that's it pretty much for you know me installing the hair and whatnot this video was mostly about the installing of the hair 
I'm just gonna let you guys watch me you know style the hair and stuff and I will definitely see you guys in my next one also don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos also turn on that notification bell just so you guys will be able to know and be notified when I post new videos okay and I'm trying trying so hard to post at least two videos a week hopefully you know it works out but I do work a nine-to-five so I'm, it's not only YouTube that I do I work a nine-to-five a hair business lash you know all of that shit so sometimes your girl be busier and honestly sometimes I'm really tired but yeah Thank you guys for watching and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Just at all different angles Go. Little nigga don't know it get dangerous, dangerous.